my name is Aufiatul Aziza. In this video, we will share about something that not many people may know, how sugar can be gas, which is considered waste, can be turned into a enzyme that are useful for reducing household wastewater pollution. Curious about that? Let's take a look together. Water is the source of life. Every day we need water for bathing, washing, cooking, and other activities. But take a look around us. Is the water flowing in the gutters or small rivers near the house still suitable? In fact, many waterways are murky, smelly, foamy. This is partly caused by household waste, especially detergent waste that we just throw away. If left unchecked, not only will the water quality go down, but the ecosystem will also be damaged. Detergents contain surfactants, which are active compounds that lower the surface tension of water so that dirt can be released, but these surfactants are difficult to break down naturally. As a result, the water becomes cloudy, forms continuously, and even disrupts the breathing of aquatic creatures. Surfactants can also damage the mucous membranes of fish. So, even though it's just laundry waste, the impact is quite large if not managed. So, what's the solution? Then, what is the simple solution that we can do? Well, one of the solution is ecoenzyme. Ecoenzyme is a liquid fermented from organic waste, water, and sugar. It's usually made from fruit or vegetable scraps. However, in this study, bagasse was used. Why bagasse? Because bagasse is a solid waste from the process of making sugarcane juice which is abundant and often waste. With the fermentation process, bagasse produces a solution containing active enzymes, acetic acid, and natural alcohol. This content is useful for reducing pollutant levels in household wastewater. How to make sugarcane bagasse ecoenzyme? The steps start with preparing all the tools and materials which consists of a tight container, stirrer, molasses, bagus, and water. Bagus was collected from sugarcane ice cellars around the campus of Uwin Sayyid Ali Rahmatullah, Tulong Agung. Then, water, molasses, and bagus were measured according to the ratio of 10 to 1 to 3. After that, all ingredients were mixed, stirred, until homogeneous. The mixture is tightly closed, given a small hole, and left to ferment for 51 days. How to use a coenzyme for detergent waste? How to use it? In this study, wastewater samples were taken from Poso Kandang Village, Tulungaku. The detergent waste was mixed with Ecoso Ecoenzyme Saccharum officinarum with a ratio of 1 to 100. The mixture was allowed to stand for approximately 3 hours, then physical observations were made, water color turns clearer, the pungent odor faded, foam reduced drastically, and turbidity decreased. The result proved that Ecoenzyme is effective in reducing physical pollution of wastewater. Why ecoenzyme works? Ecoenzyme contains enzymes such as lipase, amylase, and trypsin. This enzyme works as biocatalyst that breaks down polluting substances such as surfactants and detergents. In addition, acetic acid and natural alcohol formed during fermentation also act as natural disinfectant, killing harmful bacteria and reducing unpleasant odors. Besides for wash water, ecoenzyme has other benefits. It can be used as organic liquid fertilizer for plants, soil nutrient enhancer, floor cleaner, and even natural insect repellent. Imagine, from organic waste, we can get double benefits, reduce pollution while producing useful product. Then friends, maintaining water quality is not only the 
that is one deeply of the government, but also all of us. Start from home, spread organic waste, then dispose excess detergent in the water waste, and try practicing this simple eco engine. In fact, your name was family and community to make eco engine together. One small step, if done together, can have a big impact on the environment. This is the information that we can confer regarding the utilization of eco-enzyme from the gut as a remediation material for household with water pollution. See you next time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.